want to ask you about a hot button issue here in Georgia, your, your home state. Uh, Georgia, of course, the governor there signing an abortion uh, law. Entertainment companies, including, by the way, parent company of this network, NBC Universal, uh, pulling or, or at least threatening to pull their business in the state. I want to play a clip from this interview uh, that I did with a uh, partner of yours and a speaker at this conference, uh, Tony Ressler, oversees Brilliant 130 guy. billion dollars, and of course uh, owns the Hawks. So he has a big stake. And he's investing in six billion dollars downtown with his brother. And what's going on yeah. in Atlanta? Listen to what he had to say about yeah. this. It's literally it's a political malpractice to poke in the eye one of the largest industries that employs your population after spending 15 years attracting them in any way possible led by tax incentives. So uh, how could you say you're business friendly and yet go after what is in fact one of your largest employers? This is almost the same conversation as we're having with an immigrant conversation. That sometimes the tail wags the dog. Sometimes you're winning the battle and losing the war. You've got to be very delicate about how you do this. They, I, I love the phrase that Tony Ressler is not making a political statement. Right. He's making a math statement. It's like two plus two equals four. It is, I love the phrase, political malpractice. How can you say, let's bring all these businesses in here. Let's bring the entertainment industry in here. Let's give them tax incentives to do it. You, it's billions of dollars of GDP and jobs in the state of Georgia. You have studios that have been stood up right. here. And then you stub your toe on something like this. And, and I'm, I'm not even sure what battle we're winning, but we're certainly lo pr 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 proposing to lose the war. I, I think there are other ways to get to these issues. Uh, this is a little bit, I think, stagecraft. And I think Tony Ressler is right. And I think he's making a very accurate statement. It is political and economic malpractice to say you want jobs and to do something like this. But let me ask you this, which is the hard part is what you do so well, and you're really at the intersection of it. You are at the intersection of social issues and economic issues. Right. And, and oftentimes way, we, yeah. and you know, we talked about it on the show yesterday, we, we almost want to separate those issues, but in so many ways they are connected. Yeah. Yeah. And look, 70% of my employees are women. <laughs> so I'm not telling them what to do with their bodies. Uh, I'm real clear. They, they made it very clear what, they, what, what their opinion is. And, you know, I just, you, you look at somebody who makes political decisions in, in like, say, Alabama. It's all men. It's all white men who are 65 years old. Is that really progressive to not include the people you're making a decision about in the decision that you're making a decision for? I think that we have got to stop winning battles and losing wars. And, um, and I think that you can find a, a common ground here to do well and do good and to speak to all interests. I, I respect all views here, and I think the governor even here has a, a right and a principled position on this, but we got to find a better way to get to the solution.